All right, so video three is more on oxidation and reduction. In the previous video, we already defined oxidation and reduction. We'll just review that. Oxidation is when the oxidation number increases. Reduction is when our oxidation number decreases. If you recall, this means that an oxidation is a loss of electrons and reduction is a gain of electrons. Okay. Now, <clears throat> two new terms, reducing agent. The word agent refers to a helper. So the reducing agent is actually what is oxidized. Okay. And the oxidizing agent is what is reduced. Okay. So, by definition, though, the reducing agent helps to reduce by giving away an electron, and an oxidizing agent helps to oxidize by receiving an electron. Okay, so a reducing agent gives away or loses an electron because it is oxidized. An oxidizing agent accepts or receives an electron because it is reduced. Alright, so let's identify what is oxidized and what is reduced and therefore the oxidizing and reducing agents. Okay, let me make this go away so we can see these definitions better. Okay, so let's assign oxidation numbers because that's the only way we can know what oxidized and what reduced. So here we go. So in order to determine the oxidation numbers here, we have to know the charge of nitrate because we have two things here that we don't know, copper and nitrogen, right? So what's the charge of nitrate? All right, that's a minus one. So since nitrate's a minus one, and we have this one copper, that means copper's oxidation number is plus one. And so, just like before, that hasn't changed. And so oxygen's oxidation number is still minus two. And so what would nitrogen's oxidation number be? So two times three is minus six. Copper's a plus one. And so that means that nitrogen to make this equal zero has to be a plus five. All right? Lithium's an element, so that's going to be zero. Okay? Over here, lithium's in a compound, so that's in group one, so that's plus one. Oh, look, I'm missing our arrow. Let's draw our arrow in. Okay, over here, this nitrogen's still nitrate, so its oxidation number's not changing, so that's going to be a five. Oxygen is still in a compound, so that's going to be minus 2. And then copper is an element, so that's 0. So let's look and see what change oxidation numbers. Copper went from plus 1 to 0. So it went down. It decreased, right? <coughs> its oxidation number decreased, so it was reduced. And so since it was reduced, that makes it the oxidizing agent. Okay? And then lithium went from 0 to plus 1, which means it was oxidized, which makes it the reducing agent. I'm going to write that over here better so we can see it better. So what was oxidized was lithium, and what was reduced was copper, And then the oxidizing agent was copper, and the reducing agent was lithium. Okay. Technically, copper plus one. Okay. Next, we have number two. So let's assign oxidation numbers. Sodium's element, zero. Here we have silver. Again, we have two unknowns. We know our oxygen is minus two. 
but we have two unknowns. So what's the charge of sulfate? Right, that's a minus two. So silver here, there's two of those, so that means that was a plus one. Again, we figure that out just the same as we always had in the past. And so that's going to make our options always minus two. So let's see, that means we have two silvers plus one, so that makes plus two. Four negative twos or negative eight. So we have to have to equal to zero. So we have a negative six. So sulfur is going to be a plus six. All right, over here our sulfate is going to stay the same. So those are going to stay the same, right? And then sodium is in group one. So that's going to be plus one. And silver, that's an element, so it's going to be zero. So let's see, sodium went from zero to plus one, so its oxidation number went up. <coughs> so if the oxidation number went up, it was oxidized. And then silver went from one to zero, so it went down, so it was reduced. Right? And so what was oxidized was sodium, which makes <coughs> that the reducing agent. <coughs> Excuse me. And then what was reduced was the silver plus one, and so that makes it the oxidizing agent. Right. All right. So go ahead and pause the video, and you try the next two. And when you come back, I'll go run through them with you. All right, so we assign our oxidation numbers. So hydrogen's plus one. So we'll make eight of those. And then we're going to have three eights. That's a weird one. It's one of those weird exceptions. So it's like a fraction. So it ends up being a negative um, eight third. Sometimes there's some of these weird ones. So then that's zero. Anyway, and then you get negative 2 and plus 4, and then negative 2 and plus 1. But nonetheless, um, we go from a negative to a positive, so it increases its oxidation number. So it's going to oxidize, and oxygen decreases its oxidation number, so it's reduced. All right. So what was oxidized was our carbon. And what was reduced was our oxygen, and so our oxidizing agent then is <coughs> our oxygen, and our reducing agent is our carbon. Right. And then next we have calcium zero, oxygen zero, plus two, minus two. So calcium goes from zero to two, so that's an increase, so that's oxidized, and then oxygen goes from zero to minus two, so that's a reduction, and so oxygen, I'm sorry, what was oxidized is our calcium, and what was reduced is our oxygen, and so our oxidizing agent is our oxygen, and our reducing agent is our calcium. Okay, and that's all there is to that. Again, Assign the oxidation numbers, and knowing these definitions is all there is to that. Okay. And if you're again, if you're having trouble remembering this difference, remember we talked about Leo, the lion goes grr, right? Lose electrons oxidation, gain electrons reduction, or oil rig, right? Oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. Those will help you to remember.